G'day, Kieran McAnulty here at the Sports Desk and uh, as always we're here to talk rugby. Now this weekend's action kicks off with the first test match for the All Blacks this year against Fiji at historic Carisbrook. The last test match that that famous ground will have uh, before they shift to the brand new enclosed stadium there in Dunedin. Uh, can Fiji recreate the efforts of Samoa against the Wallabies last week? I highly doubt it and that's being nice. Uh, we are that confident that New Zealand will win. We've set the point start line, or we've opened the point start line at 68.5 points, and uh, we're already starting to see money coming on New Zealand minus there. So uh, not only do we think New Zealand will romp home, so do punters. Now in the market there, winning margin, we've got New Zealand to win by 100 and more, $7. New Zealand to win by 70 to 99, $2.25. Uh, New Zealand to win by 40 to 69, $2.25, and New Zealand to win by 40, uh, sorry, 39 or less, 10 bucks. Now, if you think it's going to be close and there's a chance of a Fiji win or a draw, we've combined those two and we're offering $50. So, uh, obviously, if you if you like that one, you'll obviously like the price, but I would recommend that you steer clear of it. I, I highly expect uh, New Zealand to romp home in this one. Now in terms of the Tri-Nations preparation, this match is probably not the best. It is an annual fixture for New Zealand to play a minnow, so it's good to see them continuing that, but it probably won't give punters much of an indication for how New Zealand will perform in the Tri-Nations. The 2011 Tri-Nations series kicks off with Australia hosting South Africa on Saturday night. This promises to be an interesting match uh, not only because it's the first one of the season, but also because of two things. Uh, Australia losing to Samoa last week, and also South Africa saying that they're going to have 21 uh, star players out of this Tri-Nations par as part of their preparation uh, for the World Cup. Now, there's some interesting facts leading into this match. Australia haven't won the Tri-Nations for a decade, and they haven't won the Bledisloe Cup for nine years. Um, a similar poor form coming into this for South Africa, who out of the 68 matches that they have played in the Tri-Nations, they have only won 27, and uh, they've only won the Tri-Nations three years. So uh, both teams really have underperformed considering the skill that they have amongst their squad, and I'm looking forward to this match uh, just to give us an indication of how these teams will perform. Australia coming off that poor uh, loss and South Africa being under strength. Um, we opened Australia at $1.30 and I would actually consider that to be a pretty good price. Australia should win this one at home, uh, particularly as I say against the South Africa side who have got a number of uh, new players and players that are probably not up to this grade. Might be a bit harsh to say that, but with 21 players out, it's probably fair in my book. Um, just to look at the Tri-Nations books, New Zealand are paying $1.55 to take it out. That's probably value when you consider the, the way that the other two squads are performing at the moment. Australia $3.25 and South Africa $6.50. It'll be my recommendation coming into this match, if you're going to have a bet, would be getting on New Zealand $1.55 before they start to drop and Australia $1.30 to beat South Africa. The Tri-Nations is not the only game in town, of course, with the ITM Cup playing six nights a week. And two matches that I'm really looking forward to this weekend is Canterbury hosting Southland and Auckland hosting Wellington. Now, of course, this is a Ramfilly Shield match between Canterbury and Southland, and uh, Canterbury have been hit by All Black selections and a number of injuries as well. But judging by the way they performed against Auckland last week, I just think that they'll be fine. I don't think they've got anything to worry about. Southland as well, uh, they struggled against Hawke's Bay. Now don't forget, Hawke's Bay are actually a division underneath Southland this year. They're part of the championship. So really, in theory, Southland should have performed better. It's probably fair to say they had their mind on this Ranfilly Shield Challenge. We all know it's dear to them down there in Invercargo and the surrounding areas, but uh, that's not really an excuse. I think they're going to struggle. And as we see here in the footage, Canterbury really can make the most of any situation. Uh, they're able to, to get through any gap and pass it wide with good support and get under the posts if necessary. So I just think Canterbury are going to be too strong here. And while it pains me to say it, I think you should get on Canterbury. Leave Southland alone. They'll have their loyal followers, but that's probably, in fairness, all that they deserve. Any Auckland-Wellington clash in the MPC promises to be a beauty. 
but I for one am very interested in this one in particular because both sides have showed moments of brilliance, but only Wellington have been able to convert that into a win. Auckland have lost to a very strong Canterbury side and an Otago side that really they probably should have beaten, whereas Wellington, they beat a Taranaki side who before the season was touted for good things under coach Colin Cooper. Now, if that's a sign of a strong Wellington side coming into this competition, I'm very much looking forward to what they can deliver later on. Uh, either way, it's good to see that they've brushed off the dramas of the Hurricanes and are looking at this season uh, positively. Now, Auckland, they are able to run it from anywhere, as we saw against Canterbury earlier on the week, whereas Wellington, with the likes of Woodward out, out, uh, out wide, they also can run it. Uh, so it promises to be a high-scoring affair uh, for mine. Now, I, uh, I'm desperate to see uh, how Woodward goes against the outside backs of Auckland. I, for one, uh, cannot pick it. Auckland have got the poor form, but I think that they're going to lift for this one. I'm going to sit on the fence. It's a little bit uncomfortable on there, but uh, I'm going to save face. I don't want to make a prediction, but I imagine you've got a fair idea. So I wish you the best of luck.